Hey guys, how's it going? Um, Josh from the Music Lab 101, and um, yeah, I've got two things to show you, um, so I'll get on to showing you them. But um, first, I'd like to thank all the people who have um, subscribed to the channel, I think it's like 11 now, and all the people who have commented. I know there's a few of you who have commented on multiple videos. Um, just thanks to you guys because it, it does mean a lot. Like, happy to see people who are enjoying the videos and even watching the videos so um yeah that's always good to know right, okay get on to it <laughs> so first we've got dead kennedys i'll take it out because glares dead kennedys uh plastic surgery disasters there's the back not gatefold just uh normal the uh, the cover of this album always makes me laugh just because of the name of it plastic surgery disasters and the picture and obviously it's a starving African child, but I think it's referring to uh, it's a plastic surgery disaster, which you know it's a bit it's a bit bad, I guess you could say. Don't know what the exact right word is it. Okay, so there's that, and that's cool. And um, I picked it up for twenty dollars, which is a great price. And I had a um, the record store that we go to, Real Groovy, one of the record stores. Um, I, once you spend a certain amount of money, you get like a $20 bonus and I was able to pay for the bonus. Pay that with the bonus. Pay for that with the bonus. Um, Alright, okay. So, next one. This is a big thing and this was, I've been looking forward for this for uh, not quite a while because the shipping was very well done. Uh, it only took about a week and two days, which is great. It seems to come from America. So this was video it was supposed to be an unboxing but um because I walked home with Ethan he was like open it now open it now and um, I was like oh alright okay um, so I did um, I didn't want to like rush into a video or anything so um yeah so it's not an unboxing but um, I'll tell you what it is it is this beauty and you probably won't know what it is might, most of you might not know what it is, but um, it's this, this band here, Sleep, and uh, the album Dope Smoker. Uh, and it came with uh, with this t-shirt, and um, because the the website that I got it off, Southern Lord Records, and thanks to them, they're really awesome. If you like kind of doom, stoner rock, doom metal, um, and grindcore, uh, definitely check their website out, because these guys are mean. And, um, yeah, they do great prices, and um, my friend ordered a sleep hoodie, um, and it only took a week, so I was hoping it would take about that time, but I thought, oh, it might take more, uh, it might take longer, but, oh yeah, really happy with um, with what it came, so I'll show you it, it's, yeah, it's the front, and, um, oops, there's the, the artwork is just so good, it's, there's like the night, there's all I'll show you. And uh, this is on the website. You could either it comes with a little sticker, a little sleep sticker. And um, I'll just here's the like kind of bag shrink wrapping him in. And it'll see how it says Hashishi in edition. And um, you could you, you could pick um, either if you wanted um, what was it, indica or hashish. And um, you'd say pick your strain, and um, you could pick which colour you wanted, which um, colour of the vinyl you wanted. Which yeah, it's taken from types of marijuana. Um, but I wasn't thinking, oh, which marijuana strand would I like? And I was just thinking, I've already got a green coloured vinyl, so um, I'll have a brown one. And the brown one was actually uh, more limited. It was limited to 2,000 copies, and the green one was uh, the indica was. Um, limited to 2,500 but uh, yeah so I'll just get this one out I'm playing the first uh, the first record and um, if you guys don't know don't know Sleep or Dope Smoker it's, uh, it's um, the song Dope Smoker is like an hour and three minutes and that's what's crazy about it and um, hold on, I'll just show you that it's base, base color is like brown but it's like marbled Very awesome, and um, it's just got 
nice thick card here. Now, so there's a bit behind Dub Smoker, so I think it took them like three years or something to record or get fully finished and then go into the recording studio and record it. Um, but the they signed because they were signed with London Records. They're quite a mainstream, I guess you could say mainstream, quite a big record company. And they listened to it and they were like, nah too heavy, too long, too this, too that, and then they got someone in, they like, they said, no, nah, we're not releasing it, but then they got someone else to mix it, and they thought, I guess they thought, the record company thought that if they got someone else to mix it, they would, um, it would be different, um, and that recording was called, it, and then they brung it out, and it was called Jerusalem. Um, and then, like, a couple of years later, I think maybe 2001, I guess, I think that was, what year they got someone else to come back and record like mix it again and it turned out to be dope smoker and the band have always said that they like dope smoker more um, than Jerusalem because it's more of the like um, more of the original recordings not it's not mished up and mashed um, like like the record like the first one Jerusalem was and I guess it's like the age-old battle between art that the band produces and what record companies perceive as profit making um, so yeah awesome love um, so pleased I got it I wasn't expecting it to come so quick thank you Southern Love Records now I've got another t-shirt um, another awesome vinyl um, I think that's it yeah, that's it. So thanks guys.